Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. So, when you live abroad and you come home, it makes you reflect on the good and bad things of living abroad and making that choice. And obviously, if you're married to somebody from another country, uh, one or other has to make that choice. Well, we've been 50-50 so far. Oh, well. Not 50-50. Okay, well, sometimes we, we spend some time in England and sometimes, yeah, well. But it's, and we live about halfway, strangely enough, in time-wise, between our two families. But what does it mean? I now have a very ugly mother, and so there's a big sense of guilt, um, leaving it to one's sibling to take the majority of the work and only being able to be here. And often, like our daughter, I think bilingual children choose to experiment with a country that they haven't grown up in. So those are definitely the downsides. But on the other hand, when you do come back, you have a very intensely happy time. Yes, for me as well. And honest. seeing friends is very special. Though, of course, people come out to see us. So, But it does make you think of the problems when people get ill or old of being a long way away and Maybe there are problems with visas and so on. So it's a reflection. So there are good and bad, I guess. And sometimes fate just takes you where it takes you. So what are you up to, Enzo? In a different kitchen, different country? Yes, I'm in England. And uh, I'm cooking for a friend's birthday. So what are you going to cook? We're going to have a mushroom risotto and I got some mush, dry mushroom from a corn of Tuscany. Pick it up in the autumn, dry it and ready to use. From Porcini. our village, actually. Porcini. Then I use all the mushrooms and they also we made a pumpkin caponata inspired by our friend Stefano Arturi, I'll leave the link in the description. It's a winter version of uh, the m much more known Sicilian Carbonata with aubergine. And uh, it's made with uh, the vegetables we have available now. And uh, finished off with uh, apple vinegar and uh, honey. And we're going to have a whole lemon tart to finish off with. It's so lovely around here.
Are they average in Angus, do you think? I would say. Got me food. Got me food. How are you? Mm, there's nothing to eat, I'm afraid. I expect they've been bottle fed, probably. Uh -huh. Have you been bottle fed? Have you been bottle fed? Have you? Instead of a muddy cow, haven't you? You've been a muddy girl. Oh boy. Polly, come out. Polly, come out. Out. Oh, you've got no chair or something. I don't want to look for the time. You're very beautiful, Kyle. You are. With your year tags. Yellow ear tags. Yellow ear tags. Look at your little, your little cup. See, are you a passion for cows? I do. I have a thing like that. So, <laughs> are you. Look at that. See, I got to send uh, uh, greetings from Sophia. Uh, greetings to <laughs> Sophia, yes. They look well, don't they? They look yeah. beautiful. Beautiful condition. Gorgeous coats, aren't you? Fantastic. It's very pretty around here. Do you think if you live here, Celia, would you have a kayak? <laughs> I don't think we'll be living. Why not? It's perfect. You don't have to duck under the bridge there. Uh, you all might get stuck in the mud. <laughs> so you need a flat boat. But a kayak is flat. An old apple tree. 
completely covered the mistletoe. Wait, it's a second tree, the apple, the mistletoe. She's very patient. How is your garden? What are you picking? <laughs> Sally.
Do you find a big difference between uh, Tuscany and Somerset? Certainly less muddy here. Yeah. Oh, the palm trees. <laughs> they don't exist in Somerset either. Beautiful flowers in the winter. So the summer club has got a special opening today for the Befana. So it's a festival of uh, castagna or, or chestnuts. Um, or oh, chestnut flower. And so basically there's going to be the famous necci. So you can watch the previous video, which we will put above and below, of how to make necci, which are basically chestnut pancakes that you can put in what you'll see. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, leave a like and activate the notification bell. Just need a Google account and it's free. 
it helps our community enormously. Thank you very much.